Hello Sim Gamers, we're here to officially kick off the Navigator's Guide to Sailwind. Sailwind is a game available in Steam Early Access. Link in the description below. In this guide, we're looking at the Quadrant, the first navigation tool most sailors will be able to afford. Before I say, let's get into it, remember to like the video if you want to see more guides like these. Let's get into it! Navigation in Sailwind uses devices and techniques found in the real world during the Golden Age of Sail. The first device we're covering in this guide is the Quadrant. Here's what the in-game navigation manual has to say about the Quadrant. The Quadrant is a simple device for measuring angles between celestial bodies and the horizon. Point the Quadrant at an object in the sky while holding it parallel with your line of sight. Once aligned, Activate the item to lock the indicator in place and observe the measured angle. If you measure the North Star this way, the angle will be equal to your current latitude, north-south. You can also measure the sun at noon and subtract the reading from 90 degrees to find your latitude. Based on that, we learn that the quadrant is primarily used at night to determine our current latitude by obtaining a reading of the North Star's angle above the horizon. Let's see it in action. Referring to the navigation manual, we see that the North Star is the leftmost of the two middle stars in the Northern Bow, a constellation first named by the Sailwind community. Take out the quadrant and make sure we can see down the site by scrolling the mouse wheel. Pressing the Q key and scrolling the mouse wheel at the same time resets the site to the correct orientation. We're now ready to sight in on the North Star and grab our latitude. Look down the sights and aim the quadrant toward the North Star. If you have a hard time seeing it, you can reduce the crosshair opacity in the menu. I have mine set to the minimum visible setting. Once you have the North Star centered in the sight, right click to take the reading. The number, under the weighted line, is your current latitude. In my case, I get 31 degrees, which looks right because I'm currently at Gold Rock City. Another way to determine your latitude is at exactly noon local time. That is, when the sun is directly to the south on your compass. Sight in on the sun at noon, then take the reading. Subtract your reading from 90 degrees to get your current latitude. An easier way to think of this is just to transpose your reading around the 45 degree line. In this case, I get 59 degrees. Transposing this around the 45 degree line comes out to 31 degrees. Right again. Keep in mind that noontime observations are less accurate because the sun continues to move across the sky and it's a bright fuzzy ball instead of a point like the North Star. Seems simple enough, and one might ask, why make a video guide of something that the in-game manual describes pretty well? For two reasons. First, sometimes it's nice to see these complicated things visually presented. Second, well, stick around and find out as we look at more advanced uses for the quadrant that aren't covered in the manual. By itself, the quadrant is only useful for determining your latitude. However, if we also have a chronometer, we can use the quadrant at specific times at night to determine our longitude. Hey, Sim Editor here. Video guides like these take considerable time and effort to make. If you want to see more guides like these, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks! Back to the Navigator's Guide. Determining longitude requires a chronometer like the one available in Gold Rock City. All chronometers are set to Astrin time. That is, when it's noon at Astrin or anywhere along longitude zero, the chronometer reads noon when the sun is directly south. Because the chronometer always reads Astrin time, we can use the difference in expected star angles at specific times to figure out our longitude. All times and stars used in this guide were first named and documented by the Sailwind community over on the official Discord server. Link in the description below. The first opportunity to get our longitude is at night an hour or so after sunset. After the sun sets, find the star Miliad. Named by the Sailwind community, 
Milniad is a star that follows the setting sun, shown here. To make this reading, we need to wait for precisely 1900 hours on the chronometer. At 1900 hours, quickly switch to the quadrant and read Milniad's angle above the horizon. Subtract the reading from 15 degrees, or consult this chart to get our current longitude. These sightings are time sensitive, so don't take too long, or the reading will be inaccurate. In my case, I get 20 degrees, so I subtract 20 from 15 and get negative 5 degrees, which looks right because I'm at Gold Rock City. The next longitude reading can be done at midnight Eastern time. For this one, we use the star Witena, which is found here at the end of Witena's bow. Witena's bow is another community named constellation that stretches toward the east from the northern bow after sunset. At precisely midnight Eastern time, switch to the quadrant and take the reading for Witena. Subtract the 33 degrees from the reading to get our longitude or consult this chart. In my case, I get 28 degrees. Subtracting 33 from 28 gets me negative 5, which looks right as I'm at Gold Rock City. The last chance to get our longitude is just before dawn at precisely 0520 Eastern Time. This time, we're using Orion's, another community named star that rises about an hour before sunrise as shown here. At precisely 0520, use the quadrant to get the angle above the horizon for Orion's. Subtract five degrees from your reading to get our longitude, or consult this chart. In my case, I get zero degrees. Subtracting five degrees gives me negative five degrees. Right again for Gold Rock City. With the quadrant and chronometer in hand, this knowledge opens up the wide seas for adventure. Now we can lose sight of land with confidence because we have the tools to locate our latitude with the quadrant and find our longitude if we combine it with the chronometer. In the next guide, we're covering the many uses of the sun compass. Until then, I am SimGamer, and this has been the Navigator's Guide to Sailwind.